Hi guys, so in this video, introduce ko naman sa inyo yung uh, cube roots. So ang lesson natin ngayong araw is introduction to cube roots. Okay, so al may idea na kayo regarding square roots na pinag-aralan natin the previous day. So mas madali nyo nang maintindihan ngayon yung uh, process ng cube roots. Okay, so let's say for example, we have, sa square root muna tayo ulit. So we have, 7 squared. We know that 7 squared is equal to 49. And we also know na ang 7 equal siya kay square root ni 49. Okay, again, 7 is equal to the square root of 49. If we have square root of 49, Kukunin natin yung square ng square root of 49. Alam natin na ang uh, square root of 49 ay 7. Ay number na pwedeng, na imumultiply mo sa sarili niya para maging 49. Okay, so that's 7 times 7. Or yun yung number na yun ay 7. Okay, so kapag kinuha natin yung square ng number na yun, it will just simply become 49. Okay, it also goes the same with... Uh, variable, hindi lang sa um, constant. Let's say, for example, we have square root of x and we are going to find the square of the square root of x. Automatic, ang sagot lang natin ay x. Another example, we have square root of uh, 25 and hinahanap natin yung square ng square root of 25. So, that's simply 25. So, alam natin na ang square ng 25 by 5, kapag in-square natin si 5, that's 25. Basically, yung rule ng ating square root, nanggaling lang din siya sa shape natin or sa figure na square. Sorry. Nanggaling lang din siya sa figure na square. So, paano ko nasabing nanggaling siya sa figure na square? Alam natin na ang square ay merong equal sides, four equal sides. And in getting the area of a square, what we do is, we just multiply the two sides. So, alam natin na 7 yan, 7 yan, 7 yan, 7 yan. So, kapag kinukuha natin yung area ng square, minumultiply lang natin yung dalawang sides. So, that's simply 7 times 7 or 7 squared. Ayan. So, doon nanggaling yung idea natin na um, ng square root. So, ito yon para makuha natin yung area na 7 squared. So, saan pa? Let's say, for example, hindi lang siya sa... Constant lang. Let's say, for example, ang area daw ng square na to ay square, ay, sorry. Ang area daw ng square na to ay x. So, basically, para makuha natin yung side ng x na to, kailang, yung side ng area na to, ng square na to na may area na x, what we need to do is to get what? To get the square root of x. So, alam natin na ang uh, sides niya ay square root of x, square root of x, square root of x, and square root of x. Why? Kasi nga, um, tulad dito, 7 squared yung kanyang um, area. So, para makuha natin yung side niya na square, all we have to do is to get its square root, which is 7. So, kunin lang natin yung square root ni x. The same with the cube root. So, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is not the square root, but the cube root. The same with cube root. So, let's say, for example, we have a cube. Try natin mag-drawing ng cube. Ayan. I don't know kung <laughs> matino yung drawing ng cube. Ayan, let's say, for example, uh, imagine ninyo na lang na this is a cube. Okay, and yung cube natin ay may side na 2, may height na 2, ayan. Tapos, meron siyang another side na 2, ayan. Okay, so para makuha natin yung area ng cube, all we have to do is what? Multiply the length times the width times the height. Okay, so pare-parehas lang naman siya kasi nga cube siya. So, that's simply 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 cube. And 2 times 2 cube is simply equal to 8. So, that, ito yun yung area ng ating cube. Okay. So, hindi lang din natin siya ginagamit dito. So, pwede rin natin siya i-represent in a form of a variable. Let's say, for example, gawa ako ulit ng cube dito. 
Ito yung cube natin. Imagine niyo ulit na cube yan. Ito lang natin na perfect yung drawing. Ayan. Imagine niyo na cube yan. Okay? So, meron siyang side dito na... Mer ang side niya dito, ang value ay x, another x, another x. So, meaning, ang, ang volume ng, ng cube na to, again, volume, volume ng cube na to ay what? x cube. Ayan. Okay. So, kung ang value ng side niya ay 2, so that's simply 2 times 2 times 2, which is also equal to 8. So, alam natin na uh, x cube is equal to 8. Kung parehas lang tong cube natin dalawa na to yung value niya. Kasi nga, nilagyan lang natin na x. So, that means x cube, 2 cube, which is also equal to 8. So, that means kapag kinuha natin yung what? Yung um, cube root nito, cube root. Ayan, cube root. Okay, cube root. So, 3 yung nilalagay natin sa cube root. So, dito sa may square root, meron siyang 2 dyan. So, hindi na lang natin nilalagay kasi that's the basic, uh, ano, that's the principal root, which is 2, nung radical sign. So, that means, nag-start siya lagi sa 2. So, hindi na natin nilalagay sa 2. Parang exponent lang din. Nag-start siya sa 1, pero hindi na natin nilalagay yung exponent na 1. Okay, so ganun din dito. So, pwede natin siyang isulat R as x, which is equal to the cube root of 8. Okay. So, sa square root natin, alam natin na, well, let's say for example, dito sa square root of x natin, square root of x natin, x should not be non-negative. So, hindi pwedeng maging negative. Ay, ed, x should be non-negative. So, hindi pwedeng maging negative yung value ng x natin when we are talking about square root. Unless, pag-aaralan na natin yung imagina imaginary numbers. Since hindi pa natin pinag-aaralan yung imaginary numbers, hindi pwedeng maging uh, negative ang value ng nasa loob ng square root. Okay, let's say for example, hindi siya pwede y. Kasi unang-una, um, square root of 25, hindi ka pwedeng magkaroon ng negative na value. Kasi kahit negative pa yung maging sagot mo kay square root of 25, let's say for example, negative 5 times negative 5, it will always become positive 25. So, laging positive yung value niya kasi nga dalawang number lang na magkamuka yung pinagmumultiply natin. How about kay cube root? Possible ba kay cube root na maging um, negative yung nasa loob niya. So, simulan muna natin sa positive para mas, mas madali ninyong uh, maintindihan. So, gawin natin, let's say for example, we are asked to find the cube root of 27, which is equal to x. Para makunin natin yung value ni x. Okay. So, it is also equal to 27x raised to 3. x cubed or x raised to 3. Ngayon, isip tayo ngayon ng tatlong number na magkakamuka na kapag pinag-multiply natin ay 27. So, we can only think of what? 3. So, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So, x is equal to 3. So, yun yung sagot natin dito. So, ang cube root ng 27 ay 3. Next, what if we have cube root of negative 64? Is it possible that the cube uh, to to get a non-imaginary number or real number, real number sa pagkuha ng cube root ng negative 64. So, pwede ba si negative number kapag ka cube root ang pinag-uusapan? Okay. So, i-evaluate ulit natin siya. So, kunin natin yung cube root, yung cube ng dalawa. So, basically, negative 64 is simply equal to x cube. Ngayon, isip tayo ng tatlong number na magkakamuka na kapag pinag-multiply natin, ang sagot ay negative 64. So, we could only think of what? Negative 4. Negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Times negative 4 is negative 64. So, that means x is equal to negative 64. So, malinaw na sa atin na kapag cube root, pwedeng maging negative yung nasa loob. Kapag square root, hindi. Unless we are dealing with imaginary numbers. So, pwede din naman natin gamitan ng... Sorry. 
pwede din naman nating gamitan ng um, prime factorization. Let's say, for example, we are asked to find the cube root of 125. So, in prime factorization, nilalagay natin dito si 125. So, lagay natin dito is 25 times 5. 25 is 5 times 5. So, tatlong 5. So, ilalagay natin dyan ay it will become cube root of 5 raised to 3 kasi tatlo yung 5. So, pwede natin gamitin si prime factorization in getting the cube root of a perfect cube. So, basically, it will just be equal to 5.